Fish it, jerks. Hi, Ed. Hiya. How are you doing? I'm all right today. Have an, have an okay day. Uh, Skipper will be not joining. Well, he might join us later, but I don't think so. He, he had something else he had to go do tonight. Um, so he probably will not be joining us. We might see him later. I, I don't know. And we don't know how long we're going to stream tonight. It might just be an hour long stream. There is a whole bunch of streams going on tonight. Um, plus, Ed and I are both a little out of it. So um, we thought, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll go eight hours. Who knows? Could be. Could be. You just Stay don't know. Stay tuned and find out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ed, um, you uh, you haven't been feeling good lately. Do, do you, is that something you want to talk about or not really? Nope. Okay. I want to talk about it. Okay. I, I should have asked you backstage, and I didn't even think about it. <laughs> I didn't think you'd want to, actually. Um, I'll tell you about it later. Things are okay here. Uh, Michelle had to uh, to go to the hospital. Uh, to, well, to the hospital, but just to the doctor. She was having some fainting uh, things going on, but she's feeling fine today. So I think she, not sure what it was. Oh, we've got chat up on the screen here, and I don't like where it's at. Was she uh, like wearing oh. a blouse that was too tight around her neck? No, it might have been when I choked the bitch, though. Oh, I mean, uh. It's it's after eight. I can say that, right? I would never choke my wife. I love her to death. She's my best friend. <laughs> Everybody just left. Everybody's gone. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> no, she, I. They're not sure. They she um they did a vertigo test on her and um that she she almost fainted. So they made her stay in a wheelchair until while they were doing the blood work and stuff. And she hated that. She hated <laughs> being in the wheelchair. And, you know. What's a vertigo test? Uh, it's just where they lay you down on the, uh, you know, the the bench there in the or whatever the thing's called in the doctor's office in the room, and they hold your head. They put a pillow in a certain way, and they hold your head back a certain way, and then have you come sit up a certain, you know. So it's it's just it's a physical test. It's not, uh, and she just went white and almost passed out, and then when she got a little better, she just went red. And her blood pressure went way up. So they, so working on it. It sucks to get old, people, but uh, it's better than the alternative. She may have thought that they were going to waterboard her. Maybe, maybe she's into Has that. She ever been waterboarded again or again um, before? Um, I'm not. Uh, I'm not allowed to talk about that. Okay. Not as far as you're aware. Let's say some highs real quick. And then we'll okay. do whatever. We're, we don't really have a topic tonight. Jeremy looks like he was in uh, first, maybe, but I had to switch over, and uh, he's very upset with YouTube. Hi, Jeremy. There's Bunny Viper. Hi, Ivy. Me too? Why is he upset with me, too? No, YouTube. Not YouTube. Oh, I thought he said with you, too, and it's like, oh, what did I do? <laughs> I didn't joke my wife. He probably, oh, uh, he probably is upset on my behalf because you sent me so many Popsicle six. Uh, there's Dennis, Bonnie Bigfoot, and Shady Grady. Hello, Deb. Although Deb's not going to be able to stay with us because, you know, it's she's in the UK, so it's a lot later. It's about five hours different, so she went to bed. Uh, there's Eduardo. Hello, sir. It's good to see you. Always a pleasure to see you, my friend. Uh, we got Shady Grady. Where are we at? We got Jeremy scrolling I need to bring down. up Deb when you're done. Okay. Mark Strilson. Hello, sir. Good to see you. Paul McCarthy. We've got people from all over the world here. Love it. Linda Wirth. Hello. Uncle Smiley's. Hi there. Go with the flow. Richard Reynolds is here and Big Cat. Big Cat, thank you again so much for the uh, the words over on Discord. Um, very much appreciated. Oinky's here. Hi, Oinky. And Jeff Kane. Hello. Pooplin. Pooplin. Lady Metalhead. Jess, we don't see you too much these days. It's very good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Lady Sky Metalhead's awesome. awesome. Uh, say that again, because I talked over you. Lady Middlehead is awesome. She is. She's she's the better of those two. Josh, he's all right, but Jess. <laughs> Sky the Fish Freak, and there's Alex. Hello, Fathom. Two Cooley, uh, it's good to see you, too. We missed you while you were gone. You know who else I was just thinking about I haven't seen in forever is Ryan, PNW Aqua. I hope he's doing well. Ryan, if you're out there lurking or something, hope you're doing okay. Uh, JNN Aquatics, Hello. Where let's see, it just jumped on me. I got Killer Kitty. Killer Kitty. Hi, Holly. Nancy B in Tennessee, which is my favorite name to say. I see Fat um, Kitty's owner. Is Kelly Foreman here? Owner. She is. Kelly went to Myrtle's um 
uh, funeral today. Um, her oh, big wow. scene, I can't remember who else um, were there, but uh, I'm, I'm glad that... Um, I'm glad that, you know, somebody like Kelly, somebody like Big Steve, uh, you know, great representatives of our community could go and, and um, you know, just be there to, to let them know a little bit, you know, just For sure. what, uh, what he meant to us. There's my buddy, Zen Ginger. Hello, CT. Mrs. Plumber's Tub. Hi. Hello. It's good to see you. Uh, she made me some, uh, Mrs. Plumber's Tub made me some... Um, uh, no bake cookies and they were so good <laughs> they were so they were i ate them so quick I, I shared one i think i gave one to aiden yeah to my oldest son and then the rest i ate nobody else got any of them they were delicious there's jorge hello sir um a few you more say hi to jay in aqua i did i did that's um, one of my favorite pet stores or fish stores it just jumped so i gotta uh I gotta scroll back up and find where's that. We said hi to Jeff. There, okay. There's Jorge, Zenny, Money. There's Matt, Merrick, Robert, Merrick. Uh, yeah, have you Merrick. seen Rico Sex Appeal? You know why she passed out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not saying that. Hi, Rachel, Robert Reed. You already said hi to these people, didn't you? You were you were ahead of me. Uh, Ivy said, uh, they just did that to test my mom. You have small bones inside your eardrums. They can shift around and cause vertigo. That's why they're rolling her head around and try to straighten them out. Ah, well, they weren't sure if she had vertigo or not, but she definitely, uh, was affected by it. But today she's feeling much better. So, uh, you know, I get little, vertigo. I've had it. It's not fun. I had it, um, for about a week when I was in my early twenties and, uh, found out what it was. I, I don't want to go into it, but. This time of year is when I normally get it too because of my sinuses. Oh, gotcha. it, what happens is I get fluid in my ear and throws me all off. It's terrible. Yeah, you were saying that it's killing you right now with all the pollen. Yeah. Um, there's Kelly Foreman. Decide to stop in Wheeling, West Virginia for the night rather than drive home. We're going out for Chinese now. I'm going to Wheeling. I, I never have. Last I, I was at Wheeling when I drove to Washington, D.C. for a hockey convention about 20 years ago. And I stopped at their children's, pa or children's Palace or Toys R Us. I think it was a Toys R Us. And I bought a Bobby Orr doll. A what? Like, a Bobby Orr. Oh, Bobby like, Orr. <laughs> yeah. And I said a doll because it is. Yeah. I mean, it's like a, he's wearing clothing. You know, it's not an action figure. It's a doll. Yeah. But it, it was still pretty cool. So now I have a Bobby Orr doll and a uh, Ray Bork doll. What was his nickname, Bobby Orr? Didn't he have a nickname? The Amazing. <laughs> no. That, that was that. What was that? Hockey Orr else? I don't know. <laughs> the St. Louis Destroyer? I don't know. I felt like he had a, a, a nickname. Bobby Orr was... is the only guy to, in the hockey that ever held the puck. For a full penalty kill. He was killing the penalty and he skated around for two minutes and nobody could catch him. The guy, and he played defense. If he would have been a forward, he probably would have been as good as Gretzky on scoring. You think so? Wow, that's but, that's controversial. You're gonna the hockey head didn't come out. Well, I don't you know, Stan Makita, that uh that was you know the time when I really I, I watched hockey um way back then. Uh Again, I did. I did even into the early '90s, but I stopped the year that Jeremy Roenick was a rookie because I have his rookie card, and I stopped playing or I stopped watching that year. That's so it was like '91 or something like that. I think when Jeremy was Man. a rookie. You you stopped at the glory age of hockey. Hockey was never better than it was in the early or late '80s and mid '90s. Oh. You know what? Hold on. I want to ask you more about that, but let me let me say a few well, more. It's very really boring for these poor people. Yeah, I mean, it's bad enough when I talk here. football. Um, <laughs> it jumped way big time on me. Okay, so I got us. I got cancer train. I got Keith KJE. What's up, Nathan Hovey? Nathan, what's going on, man? Uh, I'm sure I'm missing some people. We got Dee Kins. Always a pleasure. Thank you for the stream on Thursday. There's Stephen P. Uh, they're doing the family movie night. Hello, Linda Worth. Um, Alishan, what's up? Uh, Sunny G, what's up, Sunny? Always a pleasure, too, to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. 
I think I got everybody. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. We don't really have uh, Aquatic Moose. We don't really have a topic for tonight. Um, we're just, you know, it's just going to be a hangout. Uh, maybe we'll talk a little bit about um, live bearers. I'm, I think I'm going to move more into live bearers for fish. Um, but uh, okay. she slid off the table. We don't really have a topic, but we felt like we, sh I don't know, we both felt like we should maybe stream. So, um, yeah. Anyways, Kara C, hello, Coral. So what made it, what made hockey in that time period better than it ever was? Just a faster game, higher scoring? What was it that made it so good? Yeah, the scoring was crazy. Every team in the league had a guy that scored at least 100 points. If you go back and look at the highest scoring players in the league, like of all time, probably in the top 50, 40 of them are from that generation. Was the hot puck, the, the puck uh, juiced or something? Like in baseball, you know, they said there for a while the ball was juiced and stuff. That... Well, you, everything was coming together as a storm because you had the, the slap shot had been invented about 20 years prior, but it had never been used because Bobby – or uh, Bobby Hall was the first slap shot guy. And he, you know, he's a, a, a Blackhawk guy, so yeah. you'd like him. Yeah. But defense started kicking in offense and not just playing defense. Like when Bobby Orr was there, defensemen weren't supposed to score, but they started uh, coming in and the defensemen would take the shot from the, the line and then the forwards would push it in because it would they would get the rebounds and things. It was just... It was a great time to watch hockey. It was so much fun because the scores were always four to five until basically who ruined it for us was they, to try to slow it down, they did no two line offside pass. So they put an extra line in the middle of the court or the, the rink. So you couldn't pass past two lines. So you always had to skate. They're, try, they're trying to slow it down. And which makes then, no sense. People love right, to see because, more, you know. I know it's stupid, but then New Jersey uh, started crashing everybody and played super defense, and they everybody started playing their defense, and the league just went to pot. And New the scores Jersey. were like one to two. New Jersey, but the Devils won a lot of games that way too. But yeah, <laughs> it, it was just a great time for hockey. Alishon's and a big, it. and it a big hockey fan. Oh, that's awesome. It's starting to come back. He said that the expansion of the league has diluted the talent like every other sport. Too, too fast to expand well, or expanding too fast. Big Steve, hello, sir. You can say that, but that just means there's worse players to slow down the good players. So the scoring shouldn't go down. It should go up. You know, it, in hockey, the more bad players you have, the slower players out there, you... I, you, there should still be like superstars being even better because they aren't playing as good a, against as good of players. Yeah, like like NFL playing against college players all the time. The, the speed of the game. And uh, we've got a couple of questions. Oh, first, uh, John, I didn't see what I John. Select pad. Hello, sir. Uh, everyone matured yeah, in eventually, and he said live bears. He's happy I'm getting in there. Uh, but Uncle Smiley's got a question for you. He wants to know if you've uh, ever been to Southern Aquatics in Roswell, Georgia. Why? Love that store. Um, I've been there several times. I want I want to talk to the owner. She knows me. If you go, has he been there? Uh, I'm assuming though. Yeah. If so, what did you think he said? So we'll find out if he yeah. has been there. I, I should My say is on the cash register. <laughs> I'm assuming uncle, but she. The gal, and I forgot her name, and that's what's terrible because she remembers my name, and I don't remember her name. Whenever I, I go in there, uh, I know she's allergic to shellfish <laughs> because I wanted to order some uh, or buy some uh, brine shrimp, frozen brine shrimp, and she she had to get one of her employees to take it out of the freezer because she can't touch shellfish. That's so shellfish. That so. Um, but she's very nice and I want to do a, a tour there. Uh, I had originally set up a live stream to do there on a Saturday night because James and I used to do this thing called, yes. uh, closing hour, closing yeah. down or something like that. Closing and time or something. Closing time. And we would go to a shop after it closed and interview the owner 
for an hour or two hours. And it was a yeah. lot of fun. I liked but, it. Uh, I love that stream. You guys, you only did one or two of them, right? I think it was just with Aquatic did. Marine and Aquatic Aesthetics, just those two. Um, well, yeah, James didn't like it, so we didn't keep doing it. And I, I should have just did it by myself because I thought it was I a lot of fun. It. I thought it was a lot of fun, too, because, again, it's sort of backstage. Uh, there's Mark Xanadu's here. Um, and uh, where is it at? Uncle Smiley said, I haven't been there. Where's that? There we go. Uh, I have not, but I want to go, he said. Okay. So oh, you were yeah. speaking about the frozen brine shrimp. Do you, do you buy frozen Daphnia often? Uh, I used to buy the Daphne. I haven't bought Daphne in a long time. I can't I seem buy to find frozen it again. Brine shrimp. What? I can't seem to find it locally again. It goes through phases where I just can't. It's like oh. everybody's out of it at the same time. <coughs> I just bought something brand new I've never bought before. I bought frozen baby brine shrimp. Hmm. And I haven't, because I thought that a uh, lumpy dog gave me these beautiful turquoise uh, rainbows. And I thought they would be like a half inch or something, you know, but they're almost two and a half inches. <laughs> so uh, I'm feeding them brine shrimp and flake right now. And, but I, I think I'll just wait till maybe uh, I'm raising up uh, like some rice fish or something and feed it to them there. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I have a freezer that I keep in the basement that's dedicated just for fish foods. So I always keep uh, green beans in there. And then, so I have frozen green beans and then I split them in half while they're frozen, which I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I probably should split them and then freeze them. But I find that they don't get frozen or freezer burn on the inside until, but so, but yeah, I cut those and drop them in. I always have jumbo blood worms. Uh, normal blood worms, frozen brine shrimp, um, and then I have like a couple of meaty things like uh, uh, beef heart. No, I didn't. Uh, what what's it called? Uh, Krill discus discus beef heart. I have some discus beef heart that I drop in once a week for my uh, bichers because I like to keep the bichers having a a diet of different things. And I also have like jumbo krill. I drop a couple jumbo krill in every week for them. And, you know, yeah. I want I my wife sure to be happy guys the, with lots of foods. I put the krill in two in, into the different tanks. And a lot of the fish, almost all the ones that feed off the bottom, which is most of the fish in the 75, seem to at least peck at it a little bit. But like the rainbows don't want anything to do with it. Um, but I, I bought it for the, uh, African dwarf frogs as something different, um, and oh, they, they they really they really like it. They they really go crazy when I put it in there with them. Both of my dwarf frogs died almost. With, excuse me, within a a month and a half of each other. Oh, mine are almost gone too. I bought them the they, first year I went to the clash, and and so they're, um, you know, they were already uh, adults when I got them. I have no idea how old they were. Uh, yeah, I got three to five years. Of them? What's oh, that? Wow. I think they live three to five years. Well, they're, I mean, that was um, three years ago that I got them. So I've only got a couple of them left. I was hoping that they would breed, but they didn't. So, oh, well, I, they were still fun. I might get some more. Um, they're in with some guppies over here uh, and my Godeids, too. Um, the, the second colony of Godeids from Alishan. Um, nice. But I, uh, I, I really like having them. I just love having the dwarf frogs. I, I, I want to get, you know, I was thinking about like vampire crabs and stuff like that. But I really just want to stick to fully aquatic stuff, you know? Well, that one crab I have, that's the panther crab. It's fully aquatic. That thing, he's constantly arranging his his uh, cage. Or his, not his cage, his tank. Like, he... I. He kept he he likes the skull sideways, or she because it's actually the girl because she killed her boyfriend. But she likes it sideways, and uh, she piles the rock. Now she's been piling the rocks around the skull like she's burying it or something. So goofy. <laughs> and I put three guppies in there just to see if she could ever catch them, 
And yesterday I was looking, the guppies have had babies. So now there's like 18 guppies in there. But uh, I don't think she can catch them, but I thought she'd be able to get them at night. Yeah. I Yeah, even then. I, I mean, because I had a ton of guppies in there with Zoidberg. The crayfish. I don't. I I saw him catch one one time. I had a sponge filter that was actually. Oh no, there was a rock right real close to the front, and she would get. He would get in there, just the right place. And if he, he just he. It's like he was hunting. He knew where to get them. I saw him catch one one time, but a lot of the guppies did have little nips out of their tails and stuff. You could tell that he had. I want to say hi to some more people. Uh, Craig's here. Candy's here. Um, I'm sorry, there was somebody else, too. Who was it? Shady Grady we said hi to. I don't remember. There was somebody else. I was like, oh, that's cool. It's good to Didi's see them. Here. Well, of course. Craig's here. We said hi to Dee Dee Kins. We always say hi to Dee Dee. She did. Didi she said, got to be careful when you see someone, when someone keeps a freezer in the basement. So I have. Well, mine's um, a small one. Yeah, we have a, a, a deep the freeze, a small freezer. Thing. I don't know what our what size it is, but uh, I just have a one of the baskets, the metal baskets in it. I keep all my frozen mm -hmm. uh, fish food in. And um, let's see, well, I, I usually keep my, my brine shrimp eggs in there too. Yeah, same here. Yep. Um, which I haven't done any brine shrimp uh, in forever. I just, I, I go through phases with that too. And I need to get back to Me it. Me too. I, uh, I get like into it during the summer when I'm like excited about breeding guppies more, I think. Yeah. You know, I'm just, uh, I don't know why, but I slow down in the winter time. You know, there might be something to that, that the Gadeids are, are a good size fry and they can take flake instantly, you know, so maybe that's something to I that, need, is I, you know. I need to move my Gadeids out of their tank because I have too many in there and uh, the juveniles destroy the babies. The adults don't really, but the juvenile ones do. And so I only get a couple a year right now and I need no, to... I was reading what what's in there with them, just them, just them. But the adults, I don't see eating the fry. It's the the juvenile, their brothers and sisters that really? are half the size. They they yeah. chase their fry down and eat them. So wow. basically, yeah, you have to wait till they're all adults, and then you get a batch of like six, and then they get big enough to eat all the rest of the babies. So. I'm going to move them into a 75 because they're in a 20 long right now. I don't do that. I mean, I, I started with four from, uh, from Alishan and, uh, I have two colonies now. I've got a hundred fish. Um, that's awesome. And they don't touch them at all. They just, it, it's just constant, but it's not, it's not like guppies where I'm overwhelmed, you know, uh, with guppies, I got to the point where I was just like, it's too much, you know, and, and these are so much slower. Um, I get about 10 fry per brood, um, you know, so it's a good quantity. It's a, it's a good amount. Um, I wonder if you're getting two or three dropping at the, because normally they don't have that many babies at once. But I've seen them have 10. I saw wow, her have awesome. um, the very first they brood she had, there was only four. And then the second one, there was 10. And then each one after that were all very huge that's why it grew so fast alishan gave the how long ago was that alishan i think october was actually a year so it's been a year and a half that he sent them to me and they like i said i have two colonies now of them and awesome. there's there's a hundred good aids and i started with four well the 75 that i have as a grow out tank for the rainbows is going to be where the good aids are going to go and uh I need to get that green spotted severin to Bob this week. I'm going to clean up the 200 and make it real pretty. And then I'm going to put those guys in there. And uh, then I, I'm going to maybe uh, get, try to find some uh, Congos. Uh, Rob at Aquatic Aesthetics has about five Congos. So I'll get those five and, uh, but I want to quarantine them for two weeks because I don't want them to kill the rainbows. Yeah, yeah. So, I love my condos. Uh, I do. They're one of my favorites. I'd, I'd like to. Maybe I'll go by uh, Ethan's shop too this week and see if he's got some, and then a quarantine all ten or fit twelve. I'd like to get twelve congos. I don't remember how many I have. Um, 
I think I have six. I think I have six of them. Uh, but I think they did breed because I have some that are way smaller than the others. But I That's never paid awesome. attention. I just, you know, it's got, there's guppies in that tank. Uh, real quick, Alishan said he'll send me some uh, Limia per Peruage, per I don't know, I'm <laughs> Perugia, if you want. I know I'm butchering the L out of that. Uh, we'll talk, Alishan. And again, you know, Alishan was the one who That's sent awesome. me those. Godeids uh, wouldn't take any shipping or anything. He just he sent them to me, and I've given away a bunch too. I've given away uh, like twenty of them, um, and I still, you know, like I, I said, I still have a, a ton of them. What were we gonna say? I yeah. could see he had oh, something. I I don't want to change the subject because I'm enjoying the fish talk, but is Dee Dee or uh, Deb still here? Uh, no, she um. Uh, is she's, Paul she said, here? Paul McCarthy is he? He's in Wales. He's Irish, but he lives in Wales. Well, has he ever heard of British Carbonara? I saw it on a like a a clip on how to make it, and it was like, I want to eat some. What's so, the difference? Uh, What's the difference between it and? It, it looks like almost a macaroni cheese. So it's like yellow. And instead of bacon, it's hunks of ham. Hmm. So it's mac and cheese with ham in it? I think. I don't <laughs> know. I, maybe there's an egg in there, too, and some onion. Uh, hi, Paul. Paul Sotero's here. Um, but I, I didn't watch how you make it. I just saw the in finished product. Tom Tomatillo. Uh, I, I, there was more something else in here I wanted to say too, and I don't see it. We did we say hi to candy overhauls? I, I don't, how could I miss candy? You did say hi to candy, and I was like, candy, but you were talking so much, I didn't say hi to her. I do that, I, I tend to do that. Here. And there's Kenny, what? And she said, It's actually that's not Kenny, it's Danny. It's always a pleasure. Hi, good to see Danny. you. You're doing good. I haven't been, a, I haven't seen the Sunday night stream in so long. Um, oh. yeah. Never watch out. Two more shells. Nice. Now, uh, um, who's? Um, do you already have a plan for these two? Uh, well, I'm trying to make an army of them, and I was thinking about maybe uh, putting two more together tonight. Let's see. Um, make because I want to open up an Etsy account. Gotcha. And I need something more than just t-shirts to have on my Etsy account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I've got something special to give away. Let's see. Brooklyn Bell. Thank you. Hi, she's, wearing, she's wearing your... I think she's saying that she's wearing my shirt, but she's also saying hi to you. Or maybe she's saying that um, uh, she's wearing your shirt. I think she said she's wearing mine. Oh, I have a Snarfer Barf, too, while you're doing that. Snarfer that. Barf shirt? Artichokes. Yes, I love artichokes. Steamed and marinated snack artichokes, basil and thyme. I got these from the cheese store. I went to a cheese store. So that was the good thing. So we spent all morning with Michelle doing some health stuff, right? I was talking about that earlier. Um, Kalish, hello. We, uh, so we spent all morning at the doctor's office and we had to go to the hospital so they could put on a Holter monitor and, um, Anyways, uh, so it took all morning, and she was feeling okay, and there's a cheese store not very far from the hospital. like It's like six miles away. So I, I said, if you're feeling up to it, you know, it's 100% up to you if you go or not, because, you know, she was having a rough day, and so she let me go. And I went, and I had a, a, a flight of cheeses. It was only $7.50. You got to taste 13 different cheeses, and um oh. It was good. Pickled shrimp on TikTok. Yes, I re uh, Stephen. I um, you might have seen that because I reposted it because <laughs> I, I I follow the guy who does all the pickled stuff and um, pickled shrimp was a weird one, but I'm pretty sure that I reposted that one. That might be why you saw it. <laughs> so, anyways, they had these too. This was like three bucks for this little package. The cheeses there were not expensive. It was like six bucks for a little block. Uh, I did buy a block of cheese. I got. Um, Oh, what'd I do with it? I was keeping the package so I could show it. 
It was so good. Well, I don't even remember what it was called now, and I don't have the package. I must have, I must have actually thrown something away for once. Um, I went out to eat with my mom and dad last night, and I had macaroni and cheese made with Gouda. Ooh, yeah. One of, them, one of the ones I tasted was Gouda. Uh, Killer Kitty, they did have a lot of beers and wines and stuff, but uh, I wasn't feeling up to anything, so I just had water, which is, I know it's boring, but um, uh, I just didn't. Zenny said, I'm wearing Scruffy City shirt that says, Algae Happens. The struggle is real. <laughs> nice. I, I miss uh, Scruffy City. I wish Mitch doesn't come around too much these days. I know he's busy with stuff. Shelby came awesome. here. Hi, Shelby. I really need to get to a, a meeting. The last meeting they had, I thought they weren't going to have it because there was a, a basketball game. And I guess uh, it's only basketball or only football they cancel the games or the meetings for. Hmm. Now, this is not worth three bucks to me. <laughs> look, it's, look what's in there, Ed. It's not a whole lot. I'd eat it. Oh, yeah, it's definitely good. It's definitely good. But, um, oh, yeah, it's delicious. I get those, uh, the, the marinated artichoke carts, uh, you know, in the jar. Um, John says, hold on, hold yeah. on. But April has an ETAA meeting on the 13th and a swap on the 27th in April. Geek Boy. That's awesome. Yeah, that would be cool. Cheese shop does the absinthe. Would love that. And there's Johnny. What's up, Johnny? I got a, you know, I'm sort of taking a break from the focus ons. Um, I did have a few people reach out to me, though, and say that they were interested. And Johnny's on the list, too. I got to get that at some point. Um, Johnny from Dan's Fish. Hmm. I was talking about Dan's fish earlier today. I talk about Dan's fish quite often. Oh, I actually stopped in the Country Max that was um, down by the the um, hospital too, and um, I was gonna maybe buy some mystery snails or some more shrimp or something um, if they had decent prices. Their mystery snails just did not look good. Um, they only had a few shrimp. And uh, they just, I don't know, they were tiny, tiny, and they just didn't, I don't know. So I actually didn't buy um, anything, which I was smart. I really can't afford it anyways. But um, I want some more shrimp and some more mystery snails. This Now, this Country Max is just not, there's another Country Max not too far away from us that uh, Cassie's Critters, um, who was a, a good friend of Suzy Q, she worked there and she managed the 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 live animals she you know took care of them and ordered and do all that stuff and that that place is good that's the country max it's, it's a it's west of us it's a it's weird what a difference it is because this one south of us the room is just it's just not clean the, the tanks don't look great the fish don't look great but her her country max looked amazing everything was it was nice and clean and all the fish did well and she would also buy me fish. She, if I wanted a fish, she could get a hold of. She would, uh, you know, let me. She would get any fish I wanted. That she could get a hold of. That's awesome. Country Max like a pretty is a, cool chick. Country Max is a. Um, it's more of a feed store, but they do like they have a lot of bird seed and stuff like that. But it's mostly a feed store. But they do have some bunnies and birds and, you know, stuff like that in there, too. I know What's they're not white. Right. World King would do that. Sorry? Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't it be the cool world? if World... World... Is it World? World? World King would do that. What's, I, don't know what world, I don't even know what World King is. It's a... Uh, it's like a place that you can buy all your ducks and stuff and chicks hmm. and bunnies and tractor supply stuff and corduroy pants. Corduroy pants. <laughs> I used to rural king, rural king, not whirl king. <laughs> oh, okay. Rural. Rural king. Rural. Purple, purple burglar alarm. 
purple burglar alarm. <laughs> Rural king. I used to wear corduroys. Corduroys, moccasin boots, Led Zeppelin, or some van band t-shirt, and my uh, fringed leather vest. That was my uh, that was my uniform. Scotty said, "I don't see me in corduroy." No, don't like the swish swish. Scotty said, I, "I always thought I had to buy chicks on the corner or online. Never knew there was a store." <laughs> Tractor Supply. Yeah, there's a Tractor Supply not too far away, and, and Country Max and Tractor Supply are a lot a lot alike. A lot alike. Why? It tractor um, country max is more. Um, each store is different, you know. They're they're all franchises, so they're all run uh, very differently. But um, Sunny G, I do have some of the rice fish in this little five gallon. I, I don't remember if I told you that or not. There's um, there's four of them that did make it, so um, I I do have some of them at least that made it through from my horrible fish management. Um, Ed, hmm. what is Ram? Is is it Dodge Ram? What does Ram stand for? Is it a school on your shirt? No, it's you a no. The Ram is a bar in uh, Indianapolis. Oh, and they for uh, Comic Con. Where is it? Does it say it? Yeah, Comic Con. <laughs> every oh. year they make a cool new shirt. And they have a menu that's all gaming. Like they literally will sell a Pac-Man pizza and it has one piece cut out for its mouth, <laughs> you know, and it's the same price as a normal pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, they, they have everything on there is uh, game related somehow for Gen Con <laughs> is like the biggest gaming convention, not necessarily video game, but board games. Yeah, and Dungeons and Dragons. It was originally started by Gary Gygax, Gary Gygax, and yeah. it was in Milwaukee because that's where D and D originated. Was in Madison, Wisconsin, and uh, but they Indianapolis. They needed a bigger place, and Indianapolis hosted, and they did such a good job because India is so desperate to get anything in their city. <laughs> It is crazy because all the bars, well, not all, but a lot of the bars and places to eat change their names of their foods, and uh, it's just a lot of fun. They have a different, I'll, uh, let's see what this the logo is on it. I don't know. I heard they got a race there, too. It's a little bit, uh, people know it, the Brick House. Yeah, but Bombshell Brown. Bombshell Brown. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to put you on the big, oh, my God, on the big screen real quick. It's it's not letting me. What's what's it going? What's it doing? That's me. Hi. There we go. Okay. Hold still. There we go. Yep. We got a good shot of it. Bombshell Brown. I've had some uh, bombshell Browns before. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> they do a different cool shirt. <laughs> I just had a. You know, I, ate a, lot of, I ate a lot of cheese down. yesterday, so I had a bombshell Brown today. <laughs> what did you do? TK Tropicals and Lumpy Dog came in. Hi, Lumpy Dog. Ed was talking Hi, about Lumpy. your uh, your uh, the the fish that you sent him. And Fish Hippie thirty nines here. Hello, um, Fish Hippie. Those uh, rainbows are so much fun to watch eat. They're like sharks. He was like, float the food, and I started doing the floating food, and they like, oh yeah, up yeah, they're yep. getting it. Yep. I, yep, my Bozeman eyes do that. They're, they are fun to watch eat because they just dart like crazy. I'm afraid that I might end up loving, well, not loving, but making rainbows one of my favorite fish. Okay, I just made another one. Coral, I do not have any parlor palms. No, no palms at all, except for these, just my rosy ones. Benjamin Peters, Victor C. Victor, hi. Hope you're doing well, sir. Um. All right, live bears. Um, so, what's uh, besides guppies? What's your favorite live bear? Well, bearer, bearer. I'm okay. See, it's really hard. It, it's really hard because uh, 
many of my starting fish I got into were all live bear. Um, I, as a child, I grew up, sword tails were my favorite because I absolutely love swords. And I thought that was so cool. They got a sword on their tail, you know? And uh, when I was a kid, I would get different colored ones and I would breed them, mix them all up like you're not supposed to. But as a little kid, it was like, look, I made a yellow one with a big black <laughs> ugly spot on the middle. <laughs> you <Yeah. know? laughs> and so <coughs> I, I love the sword tails. Um, I love mollies. Molly was the first fish I ever owned was a molly. Um, I don't care for black fish because I like to see lots of colors and stuff. But I'll always have a soft spot for two black fish. I love black moors. They're amazing. They're I love black moors. They're my favorite goldfish. And then black uh, mollies I like too. Yeah. And it's because that was my first fish, I think. Gotcha. But I try not... Like, I do have some black uh, guppies. They were given to me from a really nice person. And they're black lace guppies. So I do have some black guppies, but uh, it's I have them on the bottom shelf at the bottom where I can't see them. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, but I uh, so, but now I think platies are can be so cute. You know, um, I had a great colony of blue and red platy or uh, hmm. mollies. No platies. <laughs> and they were super aggressive towards their babies. And mm. I had them in a big tank with guppy grass. And the babies, as soon as they come slightly out of the guppy grass, the adults would just dive in. I'd never seen such an aggressive fish. And I was feeding them really well even. I was yeah. giving them good food and everything. But they still mm. were aggressive to their own. So I kind of got out of platies for a while. And I have... Uh, Right now, I only have two platies in the whole fish room. I have uh, two Green Lantern uh, platies, and I don't even know if they're really called Green Lantern or if they just called them that at the Petco that I bought them because of the superhero. But they're really pretty green and black. But unfortunately, a whole mess of them died, so uh, I'm, I went to two. Mm -hmm. But those two have been around forever. I'd like to get some red tuxedo uh platies i bought a bunch of them up in chicago and they turned out they were all male so uh they never that was like three years ago so they've all died off one by one slowly and i yeah. thought about putting a, a female of some other type in there and then it's like they'll lose that beautiful red yeah and with platies i don't know i how much uh male female you know like with with yeah. guppies i know yeah. how much of the male is going to come out yeah but with platies i think it i don't know if it's a 50 fixing 50 50 or male Digital. dominated gene. yeah yeah i just don't know how it so what's works. your favorite though i mean you ran through most of them but what's your favorite <laughs> and like, i love i and i love my gadaids now I yeah. think they're really neat. Oh, and which good days oh. do you have? And QC, hi. QC said the Xenotokas. And those are the live bears that I, I mean, I have guppies and Xenotokas. That's currently all the live bears well, I, I have. have. I have Xenotokas yeah. right now. Okay. My favorite one right now is the rainbow. And I have one. I only have one right now. I have a male rainbow gadaid. And I'm not for sure what its big name is. And so I need to find more but i got because they're kind of like my grail fish gotcha. and i got them with john at the last knoxville swap yeah and they didn't even get home alive only one male lived uh, -huh. uh both the two females and one of the males died in the bags so that really sucked i um i think i'm just gonna start you know I, I all the ones you named like Molly's, Platties, the sword tails. I, I do. I want to. I had those when I was a kid. All of those. Um, 
uh, half peaks I would like to get into. Uh, there was a catfish Never. that arrived there. Oh, hmm. well, I don't know, but it, it wouldn't be part of the Liber family. It was, uh, I, I, you know, and I was sharks that are live bears too, but there was uh, a freshwater. I, well, I was uh, doing some work on the uh, Gemini AI thing today. I have to test it out. To, anyways, um, and I came up with that was one of the things I was working on with it. Um, so Gemini, I don't know if that was true or not? Gemini is uh, it's not always uh, accurate these days. So that's because they're working on the version I have is. Forget it. I don't want to get into it. But I was you getting trying to get a list of all the different uh, live bears, and uh, it, it just was never complete. So there's a ton of different ones out there, and I'd like to. I think I want to dip into all of them except for guppies. I'll always have guppies, but just the mutts that I take to the clash to give away. That's that's it. That's it. I'm not going to get into them. Is Gemini part of Google? Yeah. See, Google. It's like, like Chat GPT. It's their AI. I wish, I wish I was thinking about this on my drive home. I wish that because they kind of have a monopoly, and I really feel like whenever I go to G Gemini or go to uh, Google, I get more ads on what I want. I have to go like six page or websites down before I get the one that I actually want. I, yeah, and I never I click that on about them. them. Well, I don't want to click on them, but it still happens. And I just hate that. I wish uh, they didn't have just so many, and but I just don't think they have any competition. That's where, I mean, yeah, that's where they get huge. their money from. I mean, you know, that's yeah. what they're all about uh, for sure. Oh, yeah. And Ken, ABC, hi, Kenny. Um, Kenny lost his brother-in-law this past week, uh, who was a oh. uh, father to four kids. Um, and it was came on pretty suddenly. Stinky. Um, uh Let's um, hold on a second. Let me do something here real quick. Sorry, uh, Kenny, why don't you um, drop your link for that GoFundMe too for um, for him, for their family? I just made you a mod so you could do that. Just uh, hasn't been hasn't been fun for bad week. Yeah, for just a lot of people. I mean, the obvious one. Um, with, if you guys Mario. want to know who Kenny is, go check out the Monday Dungeons and Dragons group. And on, you'll uh, see him. On uh, Depths Unknown channel. Oh, yeah, that's probably <laughs> important for me to add. Uh, Paul said, uh, oh, no. Paul said the long name of that good day it is uh, Pescornio. Yeah, it's a big friggin' long name. If, you, if you're interested, yeah. it's in the chat. Oh, I have it on. Else. For some reason, I feel like that means something else. I feel I like what it. Up there isn't real. I feel like uh, yeah, it started with a T. <laughs> I think he puts up. I'll just ask John <laughs> when I need it because John is my brainiac guy. And Johnny is here. Uh, Johnny, the other Johnny, John Dan's fish, says I just sold my trout goodyad colony recently. I like those too, the trout goodyads. There's see, well, there is a lot of different ones between all the limias and the goodyids and all the different types of platies. And you know, there is a lot of live bears to get into. So I think, and again, the reason the main reason I'm getting more into them is for, so far, I've had the best luck with those as far as breeding goes. It's so easy. And they, you know, yeah. most of them do like harder water, not all, right? I'm sure, but a lot of them do like hard water. I, I've got incredibly hard water. Uh, a lot of my fish have never bred, but I've never tried. I've never put, you know, breeding mops in. I've never done anything to help them, the egg scatters or whatever, well, you know, the different egg like, When you so, said that you had uh, your, uh, your uh, what, the Congos, you said bred. That's yeah. awesome. Because, I mean, oh, the, I can't the tetra dryer is so not. small. Well, that's the thing. This, you know, my my normal, most of my Congos are, you know, four or five inches long with, you know, they're, they're good size. I've had them for a few years, but then I've got two in there that are a quarter of that size. Sure. But, but there's a ton of guppies in that tank and it's a very, very, oh, well, it is super overgrown. It's the 45 tall that's over here. 
and it is super overgrown. Like there is a ton of water lettuce. Um, there's a ton of guppy grass. There's just, uh, just a mess of it. The whole right half of the tank is just basically a plant mess of all different kinds of polka stem in is in there. There's just all kinds of plants, all just, it, it's just a pile. It's just a big pile. So I think that helps, you know, yeah, that's awesome. Hor horny fish of the rainbow, Paul. Horny, Paul said the translation is horny fish of the rainbow. I figured you were <laughs> getting me something there. It did not look great. <laughs> well, you know, one of my favorite fish, uh, Dan has them on uh, get gills, is the Pacific uh, mollies. And, you know, that was the, the fish that I got with uh, James and kenny with father fish and it was a really you know fun day and fun story we yeah. thought we were catching these for father fish's store yeah so we caught like a there was millions of them and i think that they over mass produce in this uh mineral spring and then they just die because they were all very uh not anemic uh oh my god what's the word starving uh not emer oh my gosh well they were they were all starving that you know they had sunken stomachs and everything and uh brought them home only 10 mm -hmm. of the 150 lived emaciated because they were in emaciated thank you thank you so much whoever that was and it was uh, everybody it was everybody there's like well, <laughs> thank you everybody for being smarter than me uh <laughs> <laughs> well uh yeah they but i i i got them on marine salt instead of like normal salt i put marine salt in because it had to be heavy and i just kept dialing it down and now they're in just pure water you know tap water so sometimes i'll put a little bit of salt into the tank but yeah. not much because I have lots of plants and stuff, but I do like to keep it hard. But uh, yeah, they're they're not a pretty fish, but the story just is so much fun. Yeah, the nostalgia that goes with it, the, the collecting and everything. And yeah. I won my first Clash award with them in Wild Class. I got third place in Wild Caught Fish. You know. I'm on the fence about bringing my uh, Bozeman eye, my main one, my most beautiful one. Uh, I'm really on the fence. You can't see him at all. He's, yeah, it's back here. It's so dark in here right now, but um, he's he's a beautiful, beautiful fish. He really is. He's just always, always colored up, and he's just gorgeous. And I'm I'm on the fence. I I'm so worried that something uh, is going to happen to him on the trip down, or while he's in the tank, or whatever, you know, and that I'd lose him. Yeah. I just don't, you know, just for a, for an award that I really don't have anything to do with. I bought them, you know, five years oh. ago, four, three years ago, three, three and a half years ago, I bought them and uh, that's it. So I, you know, it's not like I did anything. I didn't raise him. I didn't breed him, you know, so I feel wrong oh. even taking it. See Kenny you, Kenny. E. Oh, oh, Kenny. I, which Kenny's uh, even? ABC Kenny. Danny was here earlier, but I haven't seen Kenny tonight. Well, Kenny E, you know, he he told me why he doesn't do it. Because, you know, he has lots of beautiful fish. He's yeah. just afraid of putting that much stress on fish that he loves. And, you know, yeah. I totally get it. But, you know, every one of those fish that I brought survived. Yeah. So, But I'm not bringing big fish. And maybe the bigger the fish, maybe the more stress, too. I don't know. They got bigger brains than the lie bearers that I brought. I, I brought five <laughs> types of lie bearer to the last one. Or no, to that one. What else were we going to bring? Um, was something else I was, I just realized the other day I had that I wanted to bring to give away. I don't I'm gonna know. I'm going to bring, well, if I bring any, I'm going to bring uh, my sword tail guppies and call them endlers. Because they're half inler, half sword tail. <laughs> they count in the IFGA as guppies. So I registered registered them as guppies. And I think they were like, well, that's a 
pathetic little guy, but he's incredibly beautiful. So next time he's going in as a sword tail handler, and uh, I'll probably do a lot better. Uh, I have a, uh, I just saw it yesterday in the, in the um, African dwarf frog. And now that, like I said, the good day, it's got some of them got moved in there too. But I, I have a bunch of muck guppies in there and there was a ton of guppy grass in that tank too. Just, it was pretty much just filled with guppy grass. So I haven't really been paying attention too much to that tank. But uh, there's a guppy in there that's just beautiful. It's got all kinds of colors. It, it, but the tail is just, it's like the very top, like a sword tail, but it's not really. It's just, it's it's super long. It's like longer than the body. And it's just a little sliver on the very, very top, like like a sword, but not even that thick. You know, it's just, it's weird. I need to get some pictures of it. Hi, Melvin. Yeah, yeah Mel? Um, yeah, yeah, what, uh, what they said, Zenny. Uh, you, you know, you, you know, you're not here in. just, just to mod, you know, if you happen to do some modding while you're here, that's a positive, but, uh, you know, she's here to look pretty and be quiet or what did they used to say? You're here to, for, to look good and, uh, sh it was the chauvinistic <laughs> thing they used to say back in like the forties. Darn it. I don't even, oh, I don't know, Johnny. Yeah. See, you're. <laughs> You're here to be pretty, not to open your mouth. <laughs> sexist. Yeah, I'm a lousy sexist. You lousy sexist. Look how red my face is. What's going on with that? Well, it's because you say it all the time that he's like, he's saying my favorite term. No. Um, Ooh, this, I like this one. This one came together perfect. Yeah, it did. They all did. What do you mean that one? They all came to. So now to I have one, two, three. That was kids, four, five, though, right? Six. What? Uh, Candy said to be seen and not heard, but I think that was for kids, right? Seen but not heard. No, well, there's something about you're here to be pretty, too. And uh, Lumpy Dog said, sit down, shut up, and look pretty. Maybe that was it. Nobody tells I matched your beard. Do. <laughs> Shady Gray, he said, I miss, I match your beard. My face is so red tonight. I don't know why it's red. Caprice, what's up? Caprice, Caprice, Caprice. I don't know why you I always. You want me to show you something I got my brother? I don't know. Oh, it's for your brother. It's probably safe. Yeah, well, so this guy, I wanted to get him a Warhammer toy because they've made Warhammer toys. Hold on. No, you can't really see because of the stupid glare. So my brother's first army ever was uh, Necrons. And I, I thought it looked really cool. Now, is it his and birthday the guy, or you just decided to get him a present? Well, he was going to come visit, but he got sick, so he didn't. Oh, that's him. right. That's right. So, uh, he had, And then he had these non-painted ones, or ones that you could paint your own any way you want. And he said that these are the ones that everybody wants is the non-painted ones. So I said, well, I'll take the painted ones. So you can sell this. And so he said, well, I'll sell you both of them for 40 bucks. I said, deal. So now I bought myself one that I get to paint. And then I'll send <laughs> my brother hates to paint. Oh, my brother's so when my brother paints his hands shake. He, he's yeah. got a, he's not very healthy. And so I'm, for yeah. some reason it's, his hands are always shaking. I gen you. Um, you know Hi, what? Jen. I felt horrible about this. You know, I haven't been doing a whole lot on the internet lately, uh, or with our community lately, but we missed Dr. Anthony's birthday. It was Thursday. I'm trying to think. I think I said happy birthday to him. I did not. And I, I felt horrible. I missed a lot of birthdays. Uh, Dr. Anthony, Regina. Him, though, unfortunately. He was in the Pace of place he was moving. Uh, Jen Williams today, and then Maria Z and Trevor Gregory this week. But That's I know Jen doesn't do anything with our community really. But I felt bad uh, missing out on Doctor Anthony. It. But she will do stuff with our community in person. Sure, and she and if you 
ask her to to stream with you or something, she will. She'll do interviews and stuff. Um, I, I'm nothing against Jen. I just I shouldn't even have said it that way, but uh, she just doesn't. She's Jen's just you know, my friend. Leave her yeah. alone, man. Yeah, yeah. That's what it sounded like, right? Like, um, <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean it to sound like that. I just meant that she's not up here with. She's not out there like the rest of us weirdos. That's all. That's all. Well, it's almost an hour already. Do we want to end it an hour tonight? Um, well, let me take this guy apart so you can see him. This is um, a McFarland play. Richard said it's already super warm down there, mid-80s during the day. We actually have a lot of snow out there. Um, we got about five inches of snow yesterday. Um, but I think tomorrow is the last cold day. Like, I think after that, we don't have any freezing days, at least for the next 10. I, I've said that like three times, though. Yeah, actually, the low tomorrow is only 18. But then after that, it's 52. I and mean, we're, all, we're all in the high 50s for a while. So um, maybe that's it, finally. But again, we have snow usually in April. We have snow April, sometimes in May. <coughs> Excuse me. He looks like uh, General Grievous, Grievous, his face. Yeah, these guys are really dangerous because they're robots that all they want to do is kill anything living. They're just bad. And uh, Killer Kitty. Thank you, Holly. But, uh, my brother bought this army for his first army because they're just silver robots. <laughs> and it was really easy for him to paint. They're... But uh, I always wanted to buy this army and then paint it because I wanted to make it look really cool. You know, I like it's funny. Blowing. You and your brother like that. Uh, so I always sucked at painting that kind of stuff. When I was a kid, we, we'd have a lot of uh, army dioramas and stuff. And my brother was always so good at, at painting the stuff up and making it look amazing. And I always sucked at it. I was all, I've always been horrible at anything artistic. Or pretty much everything, really, but <laughs> especially artistic stuff. Um, to Nancy B's already getting ready to put the new Madakas outside. Weather's still iffy, though. Oh, right on the... Yeah, because she's not too far north of you, right? A couple hours? Hour and a half? From me? From you, yeah, Nancy. Nancy B from Tennessee. She's like, yeah, she's four... Well, three to four hours north of me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's been really pretty lately been really nice let me i'm trying to find i'm gonna look up necrons <laughs> here on the internet so we can share them with everybody we did that too, select that uh the, the when we got rid of our uh um army men i used to have the navarone it was a tall piece of plastic it was a mountain you know the navarone um and we had tons of army men. oh yeah I, that was I one of my favorite that, toys my mom wouldn't buy it for me so she made me make a she helped me make a paper mache one. <laughs> that and the Shogun Warriors. And well, Micronauts. Micronauts were my favorite, but um, Shogun Warriors, I like those too. Remember those? They were like, uh, uh, you know, maybe three foot tall, maybe, maybe not that tall, maybe two and a half. They usually yeah. had like their fist would shoot. You could fist people <laughs> with a toy. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Godzilla did that too. Yeah. Yeah. And he oh had God, something in the back of his head, right? <laughs> then he yeah. had something like his tongue came out with fire or something when you pushed on yeah, the lever in the back of his head. Fire. Yeah. Good job on remembering that. Yes, Matt. Yes. Voltron. That's what the um uh that's what the the ones I was um talking about. They did look like the Voltron stuff. I just shared what these look like a master painter of them did. Let's see. Can we get a better? Now this is only an inch and a half tall model. Uh oh, did I just mess it up? Oh no, no there it is. It looks great. Yeah, yeah, it looks fine. And see, I would love to paint those. These things are made in Britain. Bye, Candy. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, I chased her away. Darn it! It's all your <laughs> fault. Nope. She said it's it's. Uh, she's officially off work, and it's time to feed the family. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if she's going to have some uh, British 
carbonara. <laughs> That's so weird that it's just like uh, mac and cheese with ham in it. Yeah, but no, no well, offense to our uh, British like. friends, but, you know, British British food isn't the greatest. I know, and that's why I can't imagine ever wanting to eat British food. And then I saw that, and it's like, this is some British food I'd actually eat. Nothing personal, Brits. Yeah, pretty sure it was the fisting that chased her away, Geek said. (laughs) Maybe. That wasn't (laughs) good. It could be as well. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I was Um, afraid to come around because of all these shells. He's like, how do I get there? It's like a landmine of shells next to me. Yeah. Come here. Surf City. Did I, I don't think I said hi to John. Surf City. Uh, the Shogun Warriors were my favorite. Uh, Godzilla version with the shooting fist. Yep. The other, I can't remember the name. It was shot an axe and stars, one from each arm. Mm. Um, yeah, it sounds familiar, though. But the Shogun Warrior was so cool. But I still have Micronauts. Micronauts were my very number one favorite. My number one favorite. Look at this guy. This guy is all... Darth Vader that shot his hands off. Okay, you can see how corroded that is and stuff, but doesn't help that he's got uh, spider webs all over him. But th- that's that was the Micronauts. I love. Hey, you know what? It might help. Ooh. What might help? Having the spider webs on there help keep them together. This guy's got a broken arm. They were, you know, they were just different toys for the time. You know, there was nothing else like them when they came out. You know, these were before the G.I. Joe little guys. The, the G.I. Joes at that time were still the foot tall ones. Yeah. It's before Star and Wars. Were, there was so many cool ones. And the comics are so good, too. I, I just, I really, really hope that they... um they can, you know, because Hasbro owns the rights to the toys and uh, Marvel the books, I think. But so they've got to work together with Hasbro to make to bring them into the Marvel universe. Um, I just hope it happens at some point because even the the storyline is really good. Like when Ant Man went to the quantum realm, I was hoping that we were going to see some of the Micronauts there because that's where they came from. So I uh, just really yeah, I uh, heard some depressing news yesterday. Uh-oh. Uh, they canceled Ant Man four. I, you know, I I saw that there was quite a few that got canceled. I haven't seen which ones though. I know that quite a few uh, of them. Ant Man four, She Hulk, but that was a series. But they were going to make a movie. They canceled She Hulk the movie. They canceled uh, Captain Marvel three. Really, and the Immortals two. The Captain Marvel. Oh, Captain Marvel. I was thinking Captain America. Captain America's still coming, the new one. There might be even a newer or a better than that. There might be making an, uh, a, a nomad with uh, Chris Evans. I saw Ooh. a picture of him with a full beard. And that that's when uh, he was uh, dischanted with uh, American politics yeah. and went on his own. But Bucky's was his partner, so I don't know because Bucky became you the Captain Bucky's. America during that time. You said yeah, Bucky's. Bucky. <laughs> yeah. Um, have you seen all the TikToks Bucky about Bucky's? Captain America at that time? Have you seen all the TikToks about Bucky's? Somebody just sent me one not too long. They don't ago. call it Bucky's. <laughs> it's a different thing. It's so of it's very very uh, inappropriate. It's funny, but yeah, yeah, you're right. Captain uh, Bucky did be- become Captain America there for, um, you know, well, for Buck- anybody well, who's interested. Captain in America that, was no more, name more, or uh, not name, uh, nomad. nomad. Um, Marvel Unlimited, I think it's yeah, Marvel Unlimited uh, is not a bad deal. It really isn't. You can watch, you can read comics like on your cell phone or a tablet, or it's not a bad deal. Plus. You can get a lot of free comics, uh, Comixology from Amazon. It used to be better when it was standalone. Amazon bought it, and it's it's not just like everything they touch. It's not great anymore. But there's a lot of ways to get some of those free comics. If anybody is interested in that, let me know, because I can hook you up. If you're interested in reading them digitally, I can get you hooked up with a bunch of that kind of stuff. 
Um, There's so much great content. You know, and it's really nice for like like a just a smaller tablet like this one. This isn't a a, a big screen, you know. Um, it a full page will fit on there pretty pretty good. So it's a good way to read them that way too, you know. And then you got color. It's just like watching, uh, you know. Um, it's just like reading a, a hard copy of it. You get who just came up. Kitty, 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 kitty. Hey, buddy. Yeah, kitty. geek boy. It's crazy, the Bucky's thing. I don't know if we said hi to Dapper Dennis earlier. Hi, Hello, Dennis. sir. Uh, Keith did not like uh, the Civil War movie. I thought it was good. Yep, enjoyed that one. Oh, wow. I enjoy it. I didn't like how it wasn't the online with the story, but I really enjoyed it. Yeah. So it's, I've been very discon. I don't know what I've been not very happy with uh, Marvel's retake on the content of a lot of their shows. They've been twisting things way too much. And I've been very, they really did me in when they did Namor so wrong. And that just really um, I get that. Them. I get that. He's your favorite. Like if the same thing would happen to me if they bring in the micronauts and they're bad guys. Alex, good to see you, Alex Fishery. Just drop in and send me my love. Uh you very nice write-up that you did on Facebook about Myrtle. Um, thank you. You know, that was it was a yeah. There's a lot of write-ups on Facebook and stuff. I don't even use Facebook, but there's a lot of people who wrote a lot of really good stuff. Uh, people too, if, if mods, if there's any mods left, I'm not seeing, oh, Geek Boy, can you drop the link for, uh, the, the legacy site just in case, uh, somebody out there has not, um, you know, gone over to the legacy site and left a note for Myrtle's family, uh, if you please would, uh, there's, and you know, it might be good for you too, if you were, you know, a friend of Myrtle's, which if you knew him, you were his friend, um, just to read what people wrote about that amazing young man, because um, the, the, just reading some of the stuff, there's, you know, I, I'm Stephen P. wrote something that was amazing. Um, uh, so many people did. And it's just, uh, it was heartwarming, and it was just great to see that kind of stuff for his family. So if we could uh, drop that link and just make sure, you don't have to go over and write a big, long message over there, but maybe just go over and say that, you know, Whatever, whatever heartfelt sentiments that you have about Myrtle, uh, share those with his family, please. All right, sorry, Ed, you were saying something else, and I went on that big long. Well, that was a lot more. Um, I I heard a little bit about DC. They might be picking a new Wonder Woman, which I think is really sad because I think that one chick is amazing. Gail, Gail Godot. But I'm afraid that they they might be re doing it all like they've the the aquaman didn't do as well as they hoped so it sounds oh, like they you, might be just did you watch the, the whole thing. did you I watch it? i haven't seen it yet so no spoilers i i will I we, we, I watch it. The day. I'll, i'm gonna go watch it this weekend sometime i mean i think it was a weaker movie than the first one it's like they put so much into making a great movie the first time and they kind of cheap out on the second one. And the, like the wonder woman first movie is one of the best movies I've ever seen. It was so good. You know, it's, or, I mean, not one of the best, but it's one of the best superhero movies I've ever seen. And then the next one was such a disappointment. They went so off the rails. I know. I remember that's you not you wonder it. woman's fault. Did you see it? Yes, we talked about it, actually. We did a geek out about it. Um, and I knew that you really hated it, and I didn't hate it, but I agreed with some of the stuff that you yeah. said about it. And real quick, um, Big yeah, Steve... It wasn't her fault. Big Steve said his father, Myrtle's father, personally told me he was touched by all the messages. It means a lot. They're reading them. And, and again, thanks for going, Big Steve. And, um, you know... Yeah. So, um yeah, anyways, um, you're right. It wasn't Wonder Woman's fault. It was just a character there, but uh, the, the it movie, wasn't, it wasn't great, but it was, you know, I, I don't know. I've always said that I go in with very low expectations. So I'm, I'm you know, I think every movie's going to suck until I get there. And then I'm like, 
eh, that wasn't so bad, you know? Yeah, but I mean, I think Ghostbusters Women was better. Um, Which I'm I sorry. can't wait to see the Ghostbuster movie. Yeah, I do want to see the new one. Um, Alex said uh, he and Aquarium Cop and uh, Dr. Black used to talk all night, and Myrtle and I we thought I was the young guy at 30 or whatever. The Myrtle says, oh, I'm 16. <laughs> Such a wise and mature soul. Yeah. Yeah, so many people uh, said that same thing. And, and old soul, he said that in his focus on, I'm sorry, Wally's, I think David just got home. Wally's freaking out. He does that. Um, but this is my Myrtle thing because he's so good at Myrtles, you know, coming up, you know, figuring everything out. All the I put those letters on your sticks for him to try to figure it out, and there was nothing. I just put the letters on there to try to make him think. Oh. And I was like that. I was thinking about him when I put those on. Oh, but they actually they actually mean absolutely nothing. Oh, uh, I wish I had known that. I mean, it doesn't matter, but it's still they're all gone. I did the last of them. Oh, wow, to a Wednesday. I, I don't remember. Uh, they covered I, everything in chocolate, and I didn't know. I forgot to register them all. So then I was like, you know what? I'm going to make Myrtle think and do that. <laughs> well, it was it was a cool thing to do for the Snarf or Barf. I really, really enjoyed it. But the problem, I think, with it is the chocolate ruined the bad beans. And that's not a problem for me. Well, <laughs> most plus of the me, beans but, were good beans. But most it of those just, beans were good. But it didn't matter because it took over the flavor of all the bean. You couldn't taste the bean at all. Bummer. If it had three beans, it was good beans. If it had four beans, it was bad beans. <laughs> bad beans. <laughs> no. Did you notice how beans. some had three and some had four? I didn't really pay attention, no. no. Well, <laughs> did you like the green bean? There was a I, I put a dehydrated green bean in one oh, of those. Yes. Yes, I did actually. I thought that was pretty good. I did like the fish jerky, the vegan jerky. Awesome. How about Keith, the, the cereals? Um, yeah, it was uh, shredded mini wheats. Yes. Well, and I did like cereal too. I think I did okay. cinnamon light. Okay. Well, yeah, that was pretty good. Next time I do it, maybe I'll try to do like a, a yogurt coating. Because I've seen those white excuse me the white soft you know coated yogurt gosh i keep burping uh white coated stuff with yogurt yeah maybe because then that. then the flavor will uh the you know the good thing is you put enough chocolate on the bottom of the stick that my teeth never had to touch wood <laughs> which you know well, no 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 I wanted <laughs> I wanted to cover it with enough chocolate to make sure that it was sealed. Yeah. So it wouldn't well, go I bad. Appreciate it, you know, because you don't want uh, you don't want to, your teeth hey. on the wood. But uh what do you think about the cranberries? I don't remember it. I don't well, I thought those would freak you out because I thought you would think they were like raisins. I they must have been I don't even remember that at all. It must have been uh you know the the chocolate changed the consistency of it. Did that with something else too. Um and I couldn't tell what it what it was at first, and then I figured it out. But it changed the consistency. And that vegan um, vegan jerky, when when the chocolate was on it, it was disgusting. The combination of the chocolate with it. But once I got all the, because it was a solid little rock of stuff, right? And I had to I had to suck on it until the <laughs> until the you know, and then the chocolate was all gone. And uh, then it was okay. I actually liked it. Hi, Lisa. Oh. There was one sitting on the counter after I cleaned up and I was eating all the candies and everything yeah. that was on the counter. And I went, oh. <laughs> so did it taste style. a little fishy to you? It tasted yeah. fishy to me, salty and fishy. Yeah. But it wasn't bad. I mean, like I would eat that. Hi, Shamu. Hi, Shamu. He, he probably called the cranberries bean boozle. Yeah, yeah. Probably. He's probably right. He probably, yes. John said that. You're probably right, John. That's probably what, um, what I did. And thanks, Keith. Keith said he's going to put together another nasty box. I still have, that's all I have left. That's all I have left is um, uh, Keith sent me a bunch of stuff and I still, I'm going to make a meal uh, this next week of the kimchi flavored ramen. 
the fermented sliced vegetables, which I'm going to put together, but I'm going to taste each separately first, and then I think they'll go good together. And then the um, haichu, haichu, um, the candy. So I've got a, I've got my lunch for whatever day next week we stream. <laughs> Mrs. Plummer's tub said, I felt so bad for Rico that first day. That's why we set the no bakes. <laughs> well, you always, uh, you should always feel bad then and send me no bakes on a regular basis because <laughs> I just, ah. I loved them. I love it. Again, no bakes are my favorite cookie by far. I absolutely just adore them. I love them. It's like one of the few fond memories I have of my mom when she made them when I was real little. Um, just always loved them. Always, they were on that wax paper, you know. And, Nice. Thanks, Lisa. You know how to get a hold of me. I think you, yeah, you guys have my address anyways. It's been a long time, but I, uh, I, uh, yeah, you guys definitely have my address. Did you see the video I made with John? The bananas one? The, that you came no, put out a few? I did. Oh, the dancing hit, one for the 20K? Yeah, when I hit, yeah. yeah, well, it was actually, I hit the 20K, but I was like a thousand away from two million. So I waited the next day. And as soon as I hit two million, I dung it. <laughs> I did, I've seen that video before, though. I made a a little version. I was going to do is just to be goofy. Yeah, you showed it but off I've on been, a stream or something before, because I remember John. You told John to look mad or something, right? So he was like this. Yeah, disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> <with me. laughs> right. Yeah, and. Next Thursday, I'm sorry, everybody. I was looking so forward to having a big show on Thursday because I have like five things to give away. And uh, I got sick and wasn't able to do it. So um, hopefully everything goes good this Thursday. Yeah. I have tests I have to run uh, on Thursday, but I don't think either one of the two tests that they're going to make me do are gonna, is going to make me bad or feel sick. Well, let me know when you, you know, let me know first the results and stuff, but text me when you get, well, you, you won't know the results probably. Yeah, I've got it. One's a cat scan, one something else. And the techs aren't allowed to say anything. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let me know how you feel if you want to, well, it doesn't matter. You'll tell us. You'll let us know. I hope you can make it. Yeah, because 2 million views and 20K subscribers is pretty damn good. Pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty fun. And thank you, everybody, for helping me out and doing it. So uh, I want to do something nice, and I want to do that. It's so difficult to give back. I have the hardest time giving back. I've gotten so much, and it's just so hard to give back. Well, yeah, you can never give what the people are giving you back. It's um, unbelievable. You do a good job, though, making things that are, you know, one of a kind that nobody else has. Well, actually, you made two of these, but they're still one of a kind. Uh, you know? Yeah. They're both a little different. And yeah. I need to make two more of those. Um, I know Larry D was begging for one, and I don't remember who the other person was. Uh -huh. Oh, and Brother, I, Brother Dan. I haven't sent any of the caves because I got sick last week and I didn't send the caves yet. And then I was talking to my mom about it. And we we're trying to figure out the best way to ship the caves. And I was thinking about trying to see if I can buy one of those tubes and cut it in half. Or cut them in that, cut like a poster tube down. Yeah. And ship caves in poster tubes. Hmm. Yeah. That'd have to be, a, yeah, that, that would probably work out really good. Because there were small boxes at Hobby Lobby today. They were $3 a piece and they were still. They were like the size of a of cake. They still weren't flat enough. Um, Shady Grady said, "Did you find my address anywhere to send me the beautiful cave that I won?" What did you get? You know what? If, if you just want to send it to me again, it would be even better because that is my goal on Monday is to get the those four things out and this uh, toy for my brother. So uh, that Keith, is definitely yeah. one of the goals. Keith said you can get free boxes at, at the Postal Service. Yeah, they give out a bunch of them, a bunch of different sizes and stuff. To, do you have to pay for their the cost of the shipping from that box? What do, what do you mean? Like, the boxes that they give you, 
Yeah. Don't they have a flat rate on the box? I think most of them do, like the media mail for like, you know, and I, TVs and I music. I think and it stuff. was like twelve fifty. And if I put it in a smaller box that weighs less, I think I can send them for like six. I honestly don't send stuff, so I don't know. Hi, John Oliver. Well, what's Bunny saying? It's so far she away. Said that, she said, I've been begging you forever for that baby doll-faced fish. I will buy him from you. Name your price. You know, maybe I should, because I've got a bunch of people. You know, I'm going to drag this up now that I can see it. Because I had it so far away so I could work. I wonder if I... <laughs> <laughs> my teeth are still real um i except i've got like my teeth have a instead of like normal people they kind of go in like i got in what they called an invite i don't want to talk about my teeth they're all still it's mine like, though for my age it's that's pretty good but uh what was i saying oh do you think people would want me to Make a couple of those babies and put them on Etsy just to see what happens. I I think they'd be uh, Ed. I think John anything Oliver. you make would be well accepted. Uh, Shady Grace they, said, "Turn them inside out. Uh, get the box at Postal Service, then ship at UPS." He says, "You know, so you have choices there. At least you want the free box." Um, Scotty Fish Freak hey, says, "How's Ed light?" And internet. I have not done any, we have not done anything with the internet there. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I think maybe this week, um, uh, maybe Matt, Matt will be helping out. Yeah, I think on Wednesday, Matt's going to try to help me out. Okay, good. Man, John Oliver has got some crazy guppies. I've been like, I've been thinking about buying some of his guppies. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and it's like, I don't need more guppies, but they are so pretty. John, do your oh I don't want to I'll ask you later. I don't I was gonna <laughs> ask him, do they breed? Because you know, sometimes uh you get those real fancy ones that don't breed, but you don't want to say that online. Ooh. I'm sure they breed, except for the ribbon. The the male ribbons, if you guys buy ribbon guppies, you gotta be careful because you gotta get that gene comes from the female, but Sometimes they don't get the big ribbon, and those guys can still get it on. And you breed them with the females, and that way you can keep getting more ribbons. But Ooh. I just, I'm a very anti ribbon guppy guy. Um, Shamu said, I picked up five more Dennis and Barb's a couple of weeks ago. I absolutely love Dennis and Barb's. I've got uh, six of them in my 75. And just like you said, he said, um, I was going to, I was going to donate them to the fish store display until I saw one of them was like seven inches. I'm, I'm keeping these. I have one. He's my favorite fish other than the, the bluegill actually is probably my favorite fish, but um, he is just amazing. Uh, Dennis and Barb's are so underrated. I feel, um, but I have one of them. It's just so emerald green all the way down to his tail on the top. He's got all that pink and red and yellow and black. And he just, oh, it's such a beautiful, beautiful fish. I also want to say that I know that Johns do breed, you know, because I've seen him have babies in the bags that he gets from there. But it was just one particular type I was going to ask him about. So I'm sorry, John. I wasn't. Nope. What it, and he says something about the ribbon fins. Uh, thank you for the kind words. Ribbon fin is the only ones I've had issues with. I've heard this sort of body fair varieties are difficult, but I don't mess with those lines. And John that's said the that's Dennis and Barbs are on the cares list. Yeah, they're difficult to breed in captivity, right? That's what I've always heard. Mine have never. I've I've always heard that uh, they're very very hard to get the Dennis and Barbs to breed again in captivity, not in the wild, obviously, but. I have never bred any barb ever. I've seen the setup to how to breed them. Yeah. To try to breed them, but I've never done it. I've never even tried. I've seen it. You put egg crate down and they lay their eggs through the egg crate. And then I've seen people with flow that'll pull the eggs to the, a different side oh. of the tank. Even. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've seen that and too. it's like, I just, uh, don't want to go through that much trouble you know yeah. once i start with my babbit babbit points or 
I'm not saying that word probably right, but breeder points. Maybe I'll attempt it someday, but right now I'm just content breeding the guys that I have and looking at them. Uh, Big and Steve, no, I haven't seen Whip tonight. He doesn't whip on Saturday nights. He usually goes out to uh, him and Crystal and, um, uh, you know, go out and he likes live music. Live music, yeah, stuff like that. So he's probably he's probably having a beer somewhere, listening to some good music right now. Bap, bap, b a p, bap. It's related to WAP, but it's not. It's BAP. Yep. <laughs> but, I'll try uh, yeah. it, Steve. I need to oh. work on that. Uh, they have a very nice program in Knoxville. You know, uh, you don't. You're not required to give your fry away. You know or auction them off because they give every, oh, gotcha. everybody gives their fish to each other for free. And uh, it's kind of neat though, the clubs that do it where they you're required to give the fish because then you can get, you know, everybody helps each other more in some ways to get easy breeding fish. <laughs> but sword tails are a great, Oh, I'm sorry, Nico. I just kicked my cat. Uh, sword tails are a great fish to get some big, bat points because there's a couple different types of sword tails that'll score you points. That's an inside secret. Mm. Whip is getting tanked. Uh, but Big Steve, I sent him a message to tell him to ask you about a bluegill. So he'll be extra confused. And Shamu, um, it wouldn't work. You're trying to send me a picture. If you're on the Discord on Fish Cord, you can do that there or email me. My email is at the top of the the uh, Rico Rico stand.com. If you uh, send it there, I think we're, um, was there anything else we want to talk about, Ed? No, good days are also a great bat points also, because there's a lot of different types of good days. So it's yeah. good points there. You know, I don't do any club stuff anymore. I might, the, the CNYAS, I just, I didn't really get a good feeling from them. And then Bucks County now does, uh, you know, they're um, not so much online. So I really haven't, been, it's too difficult for me to get out and do things. So um, I See, haven't been doing any club stuff. That's what John just said. There's 26 different species. So sword tails are the way to go. Yeah. If you want the points, right? Yeah. I want to see that's part of the thing. Though, it's not the points, but um, well, I, I do see, want to problem. breed more fish just to take and give away at the clash because I'm trying to, I'm trying to every year I want to try and bring just a bunch of stuff to give away, um, you know, and, and so I figure since I do have better luck with live bears, you know, I'll be able to bring some of those. Like I'll probably bring 50 of the good this year. Um, and I'm My hoping problem. if I, you know, go soon, I'll be able to bring a bunch more. Yeah. My problem is I don't want to, get rid of them after i start breeding them then i fall in love with them there's matt i see matt why well, don't have I, I fall in love with the fish and yeah. then i don't want to give it away or get rid of it because well i don't get rid of them i just give away some of the fry because i get so well, much fry so then it doesn't hurt my colony at all well i was just saying for the bat points is some people will dedicate oh, three oh, gotcha. tanks for for the fish and they're always rotating different fish in there, which I guess is neat because they're getting to see lots of different fish, but man, I'd be like, okay, I got these three tanks for BAP and now I got to have three more tanks to for my next three bats, you know, Babbits, BAPs, BAPs, BAPity BAPs. You know what? Uh, I just sort of hit the wall. I just instantly just, poof. so I think, I think now's a good time to end the stream. Um, thanks for the yes. super chat, Killer Kitty. I appreciate that. Um, Ed, thanks for hanging out. Um, Thank you for letting me hang out. There's a, there's a bunch of other streams tonight, so you know where to go look. Fishfam.link. Go over there, and, and uh, you can look at the calendar and see who's all streaming. Um, thanks for lurking, J-Rock. Uh, Ed, we'll see you when? Tomorrow? Oh, on... Uh more than likely, yeah, on the, the Mafia show. Okay. And um, then maybe this upcoming week we can uh, do a daytime one as well. I would love that because I'd like to paint a lot of these hands. 
just got to let me know when you have a good day. You know, when you have a day free, you let me know and we'll, we'll try Not and do Thursday. it. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to click buttons. See you guys. Have a good night. Bye.